Um, and drow. Yes, it makes it a bit difficult because you see, although we have had deserters from our course, we do have a small contingent of deserters from Vothus. At least that is what they claim to be. I have not allowed them access to the town, of course. They a camp in a refugee camp of the western, uh, no, sorry, the southern gate. Most interesting. You know, my initial thought was that this was uh, some sort of ploy for the Baroness to try to infiltrate our ranks even more. Thus, I decided to keep them out of town. It is up to you, my lords, to decide their fate. Do you know how many dwell within that refugee camp, Tarlin? It is not large. Once I refused the initial access, many left again. I estimate that there is around 10 to 20 in drow in that camp. Rilded sort of nods and cracks his bones from side to side, thinking ahead to a visit. <laughs> Elenary has just the spell to find out if they're genuine or not. Flame strike. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> it would work, but... <laughs> so, Josh, do you have any do you have any even estimates for the current headcount of the of both the town's population and all of our soldiers? How many soldiers, uh, no more otherwise, could the town spare? That is up to your my lords to decide, of course. The current head count is around he seems to consider around 60 drow that I am sure are loyal to our course. We have an additional perhaps 20 outside the gates, bringing the total to around 80. He bows. As I said, some deserters, it is regrettable. Gnomes, well, I have enlisted some of them to the guard, the most loyal ones, those we know we can control, for one reason or the other. Uh, the, uh, there is a few squads of gnomes uh, strewn about, uh, roughly 20 of them. It could be, more could be drafted, of course, but I am unsure to their efficacy in a fight. That is a more generous number than I had thought. You have been an effective administrator. Tolin smiles and nods. Thank you, my lord. I have used the town's taxes and resources for this, though. I am afraid to say that there is nothing uh, in the coffers for my lords to claim upon your return. Most of it has gone to re-equipping and retraining uh, the soldiers. Much equipment was lost when the armory burned. It is understandable. All of the finery we could possibly buy would be useless, could we not spin it into something more. Tarlin nods. That was my, uh, my thought as well, my lord. Besides, we do not hope to be beggared for long. Yeah, he seems interested in this. I see. So I take it then that your ventures into the jungle was very fruitful. Elenary smiles and says, uh, yes, when we leave here again, it will be to take uh, Vothus. He quirks an eyebrow. I see, matron. Do we have a plan? There is, in fact, contingencies in motion. Ones which you will become more familiar with as we refamiliarize ourselves with this peaceful little hamlet. <laughs> Tarlin smiles. Of course, my lords. Uh, was there anything else you wished to know about the, about the state of the city? You've done well installing a gate. It is much lessened the annoyance in entering. He smiled. Yes, yes, I, I thought so as well. Have you managed to put the 
put the gnomes to work designing or building anything else. He yeah, seems to consider there was, as I said, some hostilities from the gnomes. Of course. We um, had to make an example out of some of them, and the ones we found uh, more of the active renegades and rebels among them, we uh, decided to destroy their homes as a show of force. That is, uh, so some destruction was hit those buildings. I have let them stand as a burnt-out husk, as a monument to the futility of resisting us. Uh, as such, some buildings have been lost in the city. It is, of course, up to my lords to decide if you wish to keep this or rebuild. As for the stone workers, uh, most of their work has been gone uh, to the eastern wall and gate. No other new defenses? There have been the, the refortified incrinolations on the walls. We could see that much along the western gate. I imagine Tarlin has done the best with what he's had, given the... The old Tamar and his attempts to incite the stonecutters. Tarlin Mons, yes. Tamar, as I said, it does not openly oppose us. I think he is too smart for that. Well, nearly not. If necessary, we could always conscript whoever have questionable loyalty. If in a battle between Drow and Drow, uh, they will not have much fight, not much reason to really uh, rebel. Especially if they know it will reflect badly on those left behind. Tolan seems to consider, perhaps, Matron. That is a way of thinking I had not considered. Rilnid flits his eyes back to the door and then to Tarlin. However, since you have been so forthcoming and rather effective in your position... Besides, you are such great use, we might as well at least tell you the gist of the plans now. The plan is to march on Varthus. However, we will not be taking the Dark Road, nor will we be alone in this. The Dark Powers within the Fungal Jungle have been bent to our purposes in exchange for leaving them alone for a few centuries. Tarlin, you know, he... Seems actually surprised. That is some accomplishment, my lords. I were to understand that the fungal jungle was a cesspool of the most dreadful circumstances, mutants and monsters. There are many of those that do exist, but when we are... And then another sort of like mirthless chuckle from the stone mask. As desperate as we are, we must make do with the tools at our disposal. Seems to... Uh, seems to nod, and uh, say. Yes, that is of course the most prudent uh, of co courses. Uh, my lords are very wise. We have met the caverns of Skisrol beings just like... Uh, Skisrol, uh, uh, the Skethic and Azrak, and they have agreed to assist us with a display of force against Vathus, and the mushroom towering Zan will help pave the way. A pause. However, in exchange for such service, the Marshal Skethic and Azrak will have to be retired. Tarlin seems to consider and say, I see, my lords, it, uh, it is up to you to decide, of course, what to do with your underlings. Uh, but I will say that Skethic and Azrak, for all the sycophantic groveling that is rather tiresome, they are effective and have served us well. It is understandable. I can see how fat they have grown. And truly, were this not such the case, perhaps they could have proved themselves more useful. However, this is a non-negotiable situation with them. Oh, nearly not. They will, however, not go to waste. Uh, if necessary, after this is done, it can be poised as a uh, 
uh, almost a reward, perhaps, to uh, to the people of uh, Festivalt. Alleviating their terror by removing the two gruesome marshals who feasted upon their friends. Uh, perhaps now that they see what they uh, receive when they behave, when they do well, we reward them. Tarlin seems to nod. That seems like a workable plan to me as well. Rewarding the gnomes by killing them, yes. Yes, that might, uh, might pull even more to our side. Very not. And then, of course, we could promise more uh, that more good would happen uh, for those who sign up to, uh, to fight. It's a chance to prove that they, uh, they truly are citizens and not just uh, um, uh, dissents. We can certainly ensure more loyalty that way than by keeping Skethic and Azrak, after all, for all of their nuisances and sycophantic pandering, they do freely discuss about eating you at their earliest convenience. I understand them. <laughs> Tarlin smirks. Very well, then. Uh, how uh, do you wish then to wait until after the fighting is done? That cannot be the case, for if our Skisral allies saw that Skethic and Azrak were still alive, it would be unfortunate. We will take care of it uh, soon. I have talked to them and said that they will be a meeting. We will invite them in here if necessary. And uh, where they are bereft of their ability to flee, we will execute them. Then I shall uh, have their uh, corpses reanimated and serve us as well. Torlan nods. The dead cannot betray us, nor can they eat us. Unless, of course, I command them too. Torlan nods. Of course, Dread Matron, of course. Then seems it seems to me then that we have a uh, some planning to do for the taking of Othus. Um, I don't have to tell you that it is not the largest keep of Far Teresia, but it is nevertheless a well defended one. Yes, we have spent decades of our lives whiling away the time and waste there. We have learned much about its innards. On oh, not. I suppose we shall have some uh, drills then. We shall see who is capable of coming with us and do a count. We shall attempt to uh, to bolster the loyalty of the gnomes, especially to see how many of those we can bring with us. And we shall begin to do drills to ensure that we have the uh, uh, utmost uh, readiness. Then, uh, and then Rilinid just sort of leans forward a bit more. Those eyes glittering behind the mask. Tarlin, what do you know about the guard captain, Tether Quall? Uh, Tarlin seems to uh, seems to think Quall, my lord, is a uh, formidable soldier. He has earned his position through guile and effectiveness. He is not really a politician, I think. Um, he is seems to think very disciplined for our kind as you all know in a position of power many of our kind uh, tend to grow idle and uh, unattentive but not qual he has held his position for many decades and as such he is well, it is a testament to his ruthlessness and his, his effectiveness. He is a skilled tactician. Um, with him in command, the fortifications will be uh, difficult to breach and the garrison will be very motivated to fight and also coordinated. I know some of his tactics, have it, having uh, st studied some under him, uh, but uh, I have not... 
he seems to shrug. I, he is constantly evolving his tactics, and what he did three to four months ago might not be the same as it does today. Rillanid nods heavily. It is as I thought, a direct assault is unlikely to succeed. That is why one of the plans, the primary plan of this time discussed, involves around as much brute force as we can spare to persuade the captain that, no matter his best efforts, the walls could be taken. And maybe if we were allowed in just to fight the Baroness, he could keep his position and those walls he studied years to maintain. Torlin seems to think, perhaps. He is uh, speaking to his duty. He seems to be no, somewhat alien with the word. And his sense to that creed might work, I am not sure. If my lords are well spoken and that you are, you might be able to convince him. He seems to consider, although I fear that there is a quite the fanatical core around the current Baroness. Uh, they will not give up without a fight, but robbing them of their uh, strategic and tactical genius might be a good first step. I'm afraid some sort of protracted battle is almost unavoidable. Yes, but I would prefer to start fighting that inside the tower toward the top floor itself than outside the wall, across the gate, and into the beautiful garden. Tarlin considers, yes, perhaps, if that could be done. It seems to me, uh, he looks around, uh, the uh, current Baroness, uh, she is vain, and uh, quite um, bitter at her current situation. If she were to lose the good sergeant, uh, she might become enraged and send out her troops to try to uh, kill all of you. Uh, looks about perhaps dr trying to draw them out uh, and let us handle her forces while you strike at her directly. Is a viable plan? Rillanid offers a non-committal shrug. It is a worthwhile suggestion, one worth considering, along with all others. There is no telling to what depths the Baroness might go to ensure her own survival whenever she is backed into the corner she is. Harlan nods. I have seen her fight once. The eyes just sort of glitter again, really, and it leads for. Have you? Nods. Yes, she held a, a tournament of sorts uh, for the favor of being her plaything in the bedchamber. And to this tournament, she invited those she thought were the most uh, skilled profession at arms in the tower I was invited myself he looks around I saw her fight she is a terrible opponent if you go up against her you best be very much prepared she uses spellcraft and blindingly fast swordplay I was hard-pressed and uh, decided not to push my luck further. And so I submitted to her defeat. Well, they tilt his head. Who ended up being the winner of that little console tournament? He, uh, he smiles. It was, if I recall correctly... Uh, one of um, uh, one of the uh, other sergeants in the tower, the guard captain had chosen not to attend such a tournament. He seems to consider. I think the name of the sergeant was Sekoth. 
as far as I remember, he was, after that, chosen to be among her personal bodyguard. He didn't win against her, of course. I doubt few in the tower could stand any chance against her, perhaps Quall himself. But even that, he sort of shakes his head. Uh, she is a terrifying opponent. Your brain's gaze kind of goes to uh, goes to to almost like his battle stance gaze for a, for a moment, thinking of, thinking about the fight before returning to normal stance. You know, Tarlin shoots uh, shoots an eye to to Rain Kalar and says, uh, "My lord, yes, even for you, she would be a terrifying opponent." If you wish, perhaps in the coming days, I uh, we could spar, and I could try to show you some of the moves she uses. That could be definitely intriguing. Rain cracks, cracks the fist of his free hand. You'll have to show him a bit more than that. Rain Kalar's no use against uh, a spell or two flung at him along with the flurry of blade. Rain looks over to um, Roland and kind of, kind of gets a bit of a scowl and just ignores him. <laughs> uh, Tarlin nods. She, uh, as I said, weaves spellcraft and sword play into one terrible form of fighting where her blade strikes, explosions and discharges of electricity follow. She moves like a whirlwind. Electricity, you say? And she... Strikes as a battering ram. Am I the only one who's thinking, why was he invited? Maybe it's finally time to get up, find out who the f, f he really is. No, he's just a good, he's one of the sergeants, right? He's the guy All who wants to sleep with Trislin, come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> yes! Oh. One hundred days away hasn't dimmed his desire. Finally, my sweet princess, you are back. Wasn't that sin, though? What? What? No. He's no. open to all suggestions. I mean, oh, all right. Elinary yeah. doesn't. We've seen in the in the player guide, NPCs are considered to be bisexual. <laughs> exactly. Does it count for everyone? <clears throat> I don't know. Well, in that <laughs> case. You want to ask all the NPCs, Miku, are you by... What does this even mean? Oh, no. <laughs> what is well, this? I don't understand. Oh. Well, yes, well, bitch. of course I am. <laughs> exactly, bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he just, like, thinks it's something he should say I yes mean, to. Like, you know, yeah. you know Tarlin is, uh, is a... Uh, is a, um, you know, a servant under your command. He will, he will do whatever he's asked, probably. You haven't, really, you haven't really put it to it. Right. Push so, the... So have a tea party with the gnomes. What? <laughs> no! What? You cannot be serious! Skathig and Asterix needs their carapaces washed. Here's a sponge and some soap. <laughs> oh, yes. That would be... But, by the way, I, I don't... something <laughs> to order Tarlin to do. I don't think uh, Tarlin wants anything to do with Trishlin. I think she is too weird. Yeah, what is she really that hung up? You know, uh, you know, you said it was about time to figure out who he really is. Who better than to figure that out than you, right? Uh, why? Uh, what, uh, why? You pursue oh, all these will, non-conventional uh, angles of discussion. You can get him. Uh, exactly. Um, Keep him off balance. I am so bad at stuff like this. It would be terrible. Elinary will suggest that we go and uh, tomorrow go to the refugee camp. Um... And probably also deal with uh, Skithic, Asrak, and then Skithic tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, leave Talin to begin to figure out uh, how, what to, uh, you know, I suppose. Uh, I suppose Ellen Airy actually can can tell the populace that they're, that they're, this is their reward. She is, has a thing with words. I, it's terrible, but I forgot to tell you guys that what the the master was uh, thinking. Oh. I totally forgot to tell you that he really, really wanted to go to the sand suddenly. I totally forgot to tell you. Ah, never mind. I guess it's not important. <laughs> when we come back, sand is gone. No, he can't deal with that. No one can deal with that. <laughs> He's free to go there. Elinari's <laughs> been there. 
It's just he's, in, he's in for a treat, but uh, but but if he's being rude, he'll just be kicked out. Oh, by the way, sister, Sakari told me that the master of the tower or whatever his name was had kind of an Arika when he was told about Sun. So is that relevant? No, she's not going to say that. I think in Tristan's mind it would have been, oh, okay, he's glad. Good for as, l- as long as what, what she gave him wasn't like the true name of whatever thing is in there. But she doesn't think that it would present itself with that. That would be weird. This is my true name. Just don't mispronounce it. It kind of hurts. He was kind of creepy. Remember this name because you can control my soul with it. Hmm. All right. Thank you. Well, I had told him not to call me female drow. No, no usually planar beings are quite fond he, of not giving out their true names. They like pick it themselves. So that's mm-hmm. fine. You want to go talk to that? That's really their deal. No, I think it's. I bet it's okay. Nothing bad is going to happen. Uh, uh, no. Eleanor is anxious to actually. Um, I mean, she's sure that everyone right now in our return has lots of stuff to do. Um, and Eleanor really just thinks she needs uh, a, an actual bed and uh, a warm bath. Who doesn't? Which she has not has access to in like 100 days. Mm-hmm. So. Well. There's your bedchamber. Yeah, uh, Tara is, Tarlin will, of course, oblige the lawns and call in servants to uh, to make ready baths and, uh, you know, make uh, make ready everything the lords would... Uh, That's not necessary. Really, it is very to. clean, thank you very much. <laughs> it's not as much being clean, it's very much more just the comfort. Right. Yeah, I've written it. I, I, ord- I ordered the servants to rechange this room here back into... Back into my quarters and to take ten oh. of my weapons. So. Of course, it's of fine. course. Uh, Eleanor gets that that Tarlin has made a room of his own. That's fine. She doesn't need that. I mean, he he like she's not gonna stay here. This is not her house anymore. Her right. house is right now in Vothus. Well, you There's see? a baroness in it. <laughs> it's, uh, she's squatting. I'm sure yeah. he's squatter. Not not paying any taxes. Gonna have to nope. evict her. Yep. So, so that's what's going to happen. I mean, she doesn't live here anymore. This is just, uh, you know, she's staying at one of her summer houses, dominions. Yeah, summer houses. Roland, it's not. In time, she'll have many. For comfort, he, it, he has many hours of discussion ahead with Tarlin, and you know, he has some criticisms to offer at no one in particular. Standing out in the town hall at the torture sites, like really. You didn't even flinch the flesh of his bone correctly. What the hell, man? <laughs> uh, he, you know, he, he does not have... If, if that is brought up, he will you know, yeah. bow and say it regrettably that he, he does not have the the skill of a, of a, of a proficient master. Oh, did he do that himself? Right. Yes. Oh. What did he do himself? We can work on that, you know. You know, we get some what? time. It's important. He tortured the people himself. It, it is a viable and useful skill that will oh. carry you well in the future, I mean. You know so many things. <laughs> okay. but, Something to fall back on. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we, you know, while we're having God. all this discussion about business, we got to work in some pleasure, too. So, you know, Certainly. Uh, well, you know, t- 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 Tarlin would, would say that he... Uh, yeah, he is. He's very much a novice in the craft. He has never you know, really done such work himself before. Um, he has not really had the. You know, it was not really necessary for him to, as he put it. Um, but yeah, now he is. You know, he, he can appreciate the, the importance of being a skilled. Um, uh, yeah. Flesh crafter. Uh, obviously, it has very important professional connotations. You're trying to get something, but it can also just be like a valve release, especially with all these damn gnomes. You just want to hurt them, but oh, there's just, there's just you know, can, can Tarlin tell you stories? I know. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, they're not even fun or challenging. It's you know, it's not as enjoyable as like an orc who constantly strives to fight against your will every day. <laughs> Is Nivy Ivy in there? No, I, no, not in here. Not in here. <laughs> Probably outside that with Miku. Bad. That's right. Miku and the gnome were stashed outside. Just like, oh, yeah. look uh-huh. at this place. What is they, the purpose of those care of the lizard. fields? <laughs> well, um, uh, yeah. And I got a walk to do with Miku later. And tell them that this is where they bury their uh, dead should, and their should family. Remember a leash. Uh, should we, um, because I, I don't know, I feel like some downtime here would be good. Yeah. In this city. Yep, so maybe we plan. should deal with Skethic and Asrak and the refugees because I that's something we're going to do immediately after this. 
So having like a week of downtime and then we do it, that seems a bit weird. All right, we can we can do it now, certainly. Like, like do it now and just sort of... Maybe we can probably do it a little faster. Are right? we going to kill the spiders now? Yes. Yeah. So you call for the spiders. I kind of like them, but okay. Yeah. We do. The lords wish to speak. You know, you know they'll have like the the you know the recruits like seal the chamber like as they walk in. You know, Tarlin could yeah. be there. We That's can see the Tarlin in action. Wink, wink. That's oh, why sure. we're doing this. 